it's Baba. How are you doing while you're all stuck in the house? Not going to school. Are you happy at home? Well, I miss you and I just want to read you a story. This is a story that I used to read to Lena and Dasha when they were little and I might have read it to some of you already. It's the story, Are You My Mother? by P.B. Eastman. So I'm going to get started here. It's about this little bird right there. Are you my mother? A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh, oh, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. something for my baby bird to eat she said I will be back so away she went the egg jumped it jumped and jumped and jumped and out came the baby bird it's kind of a funny looking baby bird it's got a long neck He said, he looked for her. Where was that mother bird anyway? Can you imagine getting born in a nest and your mother's not even there? He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. I will go and look for her. So away he went. It looks like he's going to fall out of the nest. Did you ever see a baby bird that fell out of a nest? I've seen a baby bird that fell out of a nest. Down out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. Look at how tall this tree is and there he is. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. He's a very determined little bird. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not see her. Has he never seen her before? There she is, she's trying to get food for him. And he's off looking for her in the other direction. <laughs> he came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. He did not say a thing. I guess the kitten can't talk yet. <laughs> the kitten was not his mother. So he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No, said the hen. Hmm. Well, at least she's a bird, but she just doesn't want him. Poor baby bird. She probably has a lot of baby chickens at home. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog. I am not your mother. I'm a dog, said the dog. It's like Billy. Can you imagine a bird coming up to Billy and saying, are you my mother? The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on and he came to a cow. Mm. What do you think?
what do you think? He's going to ask the cow. Are you my mother? He said to the cow. How could I be your mother? Said the cow. I am a cow. Moo. <laughs> the kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? He's starting to get a little bit worried. I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will. I'll find her. Look, he's determined to find his mother. Now, the baby bird did not walk. He ran. Then he saw a car. Could that old thing be his mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not even stop. He ran on and on. At least he was smart enough to know that a car couldn't be his mother. Now he looked way, way down and he saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. Mother! I thought he was smarter. He looked way, way up, and he saw a big plane. Here I am, mother, he called out. But the plane did not stop. The plane went on. I guess at that, at least, you know, planes fly. It's getting a little bit closer, maybe. It's a very silly baby bird. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, she said. This is my mother. Yeah. No. <laughs> what is that thing? He ran right up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing. What is that? Is it his mother? No. But the big thing just said, snort. Can you snort? Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby. You are a snort. You have to get out of here. I don't know if I would go up there and yell at the snort. It looks awfully big compared to the baby bird. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up. And it went way, way up. And up, up, up went the baby bird on the tip of the snort's shovel. But now, where was the snort going? Oh, oh, what is this snort going to do to me? Get me out of here! He's in trouble now. Where is the snort taking him? Just then, the snort came to a stop. something happened. The snort put that baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home! Yay! So good to have a home. It's probably, you know, they're quarantined. You stay in there. Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? He said to the baby bird. She's got a big juicy worm in her beak, see? Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You're not a cow. You're not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. I guess we learned. And they live happily ever after in the tree. The end.
next time I'll have Grandpa read you a story. Okay.